If you guys are new to ARC, then this tutorial will be helpful for how to make tranquilizer arrows so that you can tame your first dinosaurs in the game. You can see that you can unlock the Trank Arrows at level 21, and it requires Narcotic and Stone Arrow, but some people might not know how to make Narcotic if you're that new to the game. So the first thing you should do is set up a foundation on the floor, and we're going to be building something called a Mortar and Pestle. As you can see, you unlock this at level 6, it takes 15 hide and 65 stone to craft. Also in level 6, you will see Narcotic is in the same line there, which takes 5 knocker berries and 1 spoiled meat. In order to craft a mortar and pestle, we need stone and hide, so let's use our hatchet on a stone to get large amounts of stone. Do keep in mind that I'm playing at 10 times the boosted rate, so you'll be getting 10 times less on official. In order to get hide, you're going to have to kill small dinos like a Dilphosaur or a Dodo, anything that you can find near around you that you are capable of killing. It should be okay. These things are really easy to kill. Now once you've killed the dino, you can either use a pickaxe to get a bunch more meat, or you can use a hatchet to get a bunch more hide. Obviously we want hide, so we're going to start out by hitting it with the hatchet. But if we wanted more meat, we could hit it with the pickaxe to get more meat instead of hide. But obviously we want hide, so you see when we hit it with this, we get a bunch more hide. And now we're able to craft our mortar and pestle with the hide and the stone that we collected. Now once we have the mortar and pestle and we go into its inventory, you can see we can make narcotic here. But we need spoiled meat and we need narco berries. So spoiled meat is basically from actual meat going off. And you can see there is a spoil timer next to the meat that says a time when the next one will go off and become spoiled meat. So right now it seems we have five minutes until this one will turn one of the 365 meats here into spoiled meat. If you're playing on official settings, your stack of meat will be about 40. Now what I'm going to do is on the stack of 183, I'm going to right click it and I'm going to split stack and I'm going to go split all. Now this splits them all into 182 different stacks or 183 actually. And you can see all of them will spoil at the four minute mark. So at four minutes, all of this will turn into spoiled meat. So that is one of the things we need. And you can see there, spoiled meat is one requirement. The other is narco berries, which you can see we already have some. But if you don't know how to get narco berries, narco berries are gained from harvesting plants by walking over them and pressing E. So literally any type of like bush or thing, you'll see when it does this animation where it looks like you're picking berries or you're just like grabbing something. I, I, I don't even know like what he's doing. But when you're getting a bunch of berries, you're doing the right thing. Every plant gives you a bunch of different berries, but you're aiming to try get as much narco berries as possible. In the future, it will be much easier using a dinosaur that is a herbivore to mine or harvest these plants to get a bunch more berries. The best option is actually a parasaur, at least for early game. So you'll see at level 10 you unlock a bow and stone arrows, which are fairly easy to craft. So do yourself a favor, make a bow and make about 100 arrows or as much as you can manage with your resources. Now that we have our bow and our arrows ready, we just have to wait for the meat to spoil, which should be in about 38 seconds. And there you go, you can see our meat has turned into 184 spoiled meat. And now you can go to the mortar and pestle, access its inventory, and transfer the spoiled meat and the narco berries, and here you can craft your narcotic. Now once you finally got some narcotic, you can actually go to your crafting, and if you have the trank arrows engram unlocked, you can finally turn normal arrows into trank arrows by adding the narcotic to it. So narcotic plus a stone arrow equals your trank arrows. So there we go, I have created 54 trank arrows. Now in order to equip this to your bow, you actually just drag the arrows onto the bow icon here to swap it into trank arrows. And you can notice that it's the trank arrows by the arrow being green, as you can see over here. Now that you have trank arrows, you can use them on dinosaurs, but I do recommend to actually craft a bola as well, which is able to actually keep most dinosaurs at the early game in one place for a few seconds while you bring out your trank arrows and you shoot the dinosaur in the face and knock them unconscious. So yeah, that is one way to quickly uh, get dinosaurs unconscious and then feed them some like major berries for this example, because he is a herbivore who will be eating major berries to tame. And that is how you craft Trank Arrows in Ark. I hope this was a good beginner guide to crafting Trank Arrows, and I hope you have a, a good journey in Ark. If you do have any more questions related to the game, please leave them in the comments below. I do reply to every single one, and I will answer your questions. I hope this was helpful, and thank you so much for watching.